So in addition to our Bible reflection, I'd like us to spend a few minutes also praying together. It's really important, particularly in difficult times, that we keep worshipping God, even when we don't feel like it. And I believe there's real power um, in declaring words of faith out loud. Um, I think that saying it out loud can change how we feel and it can drive away the power of the fear and uncertainty that wants to cloud our minds and question what we believe about God. So I want us to, to just start here with some words declaring God's greatness from Isaiah chapter 40 and then we're going to pray together. Um, as ever, in my low-tech way, I'm going to show the words of this reading on the screen and I invite you not to feel silly but to join in and speak these words out loud yourself in your own living room or wherever you are. Join in with me and let's declare what we believe about God together. Why do you say God has forgotten about us? Why do you say God doesn't care when things are tough? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his wisdom cannot be measured. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who trust the Lord will find new strength. They will be strong like eagles, soaring upwards on wings. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. We're going to spend a few minutes praying together now. Um, and first, I, I've got a prayer of trust. And I invite you again to join in with that one, to read the words in bold. Again, because of the power of just saying the words out loud and claiming them for ourselves personally, and then some prayers of intercession. Sometimes we feel like we're walking through a wilderness and cannot see the road ahead. Jesus, we choose to walk with you. We find ourselves facing difficult times with much uncertainty ahead. Jesus, we choose to walk with you. When we feel alone or afraid, we remember that you are with us. Jesus, we choose to walk with you. When we are anxious and our spirits seem dry, Help us to trust in your spirit. Jesus, we choose to walk with you. You knew what it was to be alone and you found closeness with your father there. Jesus, we choose to walk with you. Transform our hearts and our faith and trust in you, we pray. Jesus, we choose to walk with you today. Amen. Let's continue in prayer. I'm going to pray now and I'm going to pause at certain times to allow you to offer your own prayers. And then after each pause, I'm going to use some Celtic words from the Northumbria community. So let's continue in prayer. Lord, we pray that you would keep us all under the shadow of your mercy and your love just now. We pray that you will give your assurance to all those who are feeling anxious and fearful and give them the reassurance that their lives are held by you and nothing can separate us from your love. And we pause now to offer to you the particular things that have been causing us anxiety this week. And we name them before you and give them into your safekeeping.
Calm me, O Lord, as you still the storm. Still me, O Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease, and fold me, Lord, within your peace. Today is Mothering Sunday, and so we want to give you thanks for all those who have shown us motherly love. And we pray for all mums today. We particularly pray for mums and grandmas who are not able to be with their families today. And we pray for your particular blessing on them. And we pause now to pray for our own family members, mums, grandmas, children and grandchildren, all those we love. And we pray now for your blessing on them. My dear ones, O oh Lord, will you bless them and keep them in every place where they are. May the Father of heaven have care of them each day and each night of their lives. You taught us, Jesus, to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. And so in these strange and anxious times, will you give each of us strength to comfort the fearful, compassion to help those who are sick, and grace to assure those who are isolated of our love and your love. We pray for your protection over all our NHS workers, all those who are caring for the sick, and we pray for your wisdom for all those in government who are making decisions for our safety and welfare. And we pray for wisdom and resilience for those who are searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit, we pray. So we pause now to offer our own prayers to you for our health workers, for those in government, for those seeking a cure, and for all those who are ill, alone or isolated. Keep your people, Lord, in the arms of your embrace. Shelter them under your wings. Be their light in the darkness. Be their hope in distress. Be their calm in anxiety. Be their strength in weakness. Be their comfort in pain. And be their song of hope in the night. And finally, some words from Psalm 62. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard, that you, O God, are powerful and yours is unfailing love. We believe and trust in you, our God. Our confidence is in you alone. So hear these prayers. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And then finally, I've got a prayer for the Christian community, which has been published online this week by Barbara Glasson, who's the president of the Methodist Conference. A prayer for the Christian community. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. 
We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbours' safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. God bless you all this week. Um, just to round us off this morning, there's going to be a song in a moment. And I just invite you to join in and sing it if you want to. It's a familiar song declaring our trust in God alone. I pray for God's blessing on you and I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday.